Hello Earth Signs. Welcome to your Cancer, your Venus in Cancer reading. Now, Venus is pretty at home in the sign of Cancer and so this is definitely the time to feel nurtured, to feel loved, heard, seen. Um, you'll be making connections with people who actually affect you emotionally and so any type of superficial relationship that you had going on, whether you had met people online from Venus just being in Gemini or if you had just, you know, just said yes to some dates just to go do something just know that all of that that superficiality will be falling away um, and you're going to be kind of seeking out or attracting relationships that will have you kind of just bonding on like a deeper level so taurus virgo capricorn let's see what you have to look forward to the first card is going to be more of what is coming your way with venus being in cancer and the second is going to be more of your advice on what to do. And the third is going to be an outcome of your future position. So what is coming towards you? Ooh, so we have the moon. I love the artistry on this card. We have two women. They're just laying back and um, we're down by the beach. The moon is definitely one of just the unknown. Like there's a little bit of, you know, secrets. I'm definitely going to pull a clarifier on this, but whatever is coming towards you, it's going to be the opposite of whatever you think it's going to be. So I know we all kind of like to pretend like we can tell the future. <laughs> like oh we know where this is going we know where this relationship is going or we know that this or that isn't going to happen but basically this is just telling you that what is coming in you basically can't really prepare for and so if you're in a situation right now just know it's probably not what you think it is it's not what it seems so let's get a clarifier on the moon clarifier on the moon card what is coming in Okay, two of cups. So yeah, this is definitely uh, towards like a partnership. And so relationships are heavy on your mind. Um, two of cups is, I would say, I like two of cups better than the lover's card. I know that sounds weird, but um, two of cups is like, you could say more long-term commitment. Um, this is you finding your person. And so I don't know for some of you i think this is going to be a surprise this is like meeting someone when you at least expect it and for others this is a relationship that maybe you were unsure of what's happening and all of a sudden this person with this um venus being in cancer all of a sudden like it's like they changed their tune and they want to get serious so let's see for your advice so your advice is nine of wands so nine of wands is one of perseverance like this is like don't give up also don't settle so if you're thinking about compromising um if you're thinking about oh i'm not really sure i'm just gonna chill out and do nothing this is saying like don't <laughs> whatever you're currently doing whatever path you're currently on it's saying stick to it the end is almost near and um, you know, this is an action oriented card. So your advice is just to continue keeping on, continue persevering and don't stop now. Let's see what you have for your future and your outcome. Oh my gosh, okay, so you have Knight of Cups. So yeah, Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn, I definitely see you getting some type of love offering. Um, I think it's crazy because you, you definitely didn't see it coming. Um, I don't know if this may be someone coming back that you thought, oh, things were done, were finished. Um, because especially with this Two of Cups, this is like um, those soulmate type connections, those twin flames, um, whatever word um, you resonate with. but. You know this is you know those kind of fated connections and so it's funny because <laughs> there might be some of you who are like my love life is as dry as the sahara but seriously guys with, <laughs> with, with the waves in the background and just laying on the sand and oh my gosh guys we even have a lobster this is very cancer vibes this is juicy <laughs> let me see what's on the bottom of the deck oh wrong deck so the bottom of this deck is the five of pentacles so yeah that's definitely confirmation for me um five of pentacles is you know 
things like sticking it out with that person through hard times um you know five of pentacles if this was a money reading it would mean losses <laughs> but for relationship meanings this is even during the bad times even during the storm of or when you know you're just unsure you don't know where things are going this is of you two sticking together you definitely have some type of um some type of bond I, I would say is probably pretty spiritual um i'm not sure if you guys have known each other in a different lifetime um whether you believe that or not but whoever this is they're in your life for a reason this isn't just um a coincidence of just of oh, some random person like um this is definitely someone that's going to have a major impact on your life and so with this advice of being to stick it out um you know like i said we have mercury retrograde right now we have pluto retrograde we have saturn retrograde right now so if you guys do make a reunion if things do um like they reach out to you or you guys start talking again just know that with saturn being retrograde i think whatever you guys work out is going to be for the long term whether it's you guys talking about you know what that was dumb i never want to be you know without you again or you just kind of seeing them in a completely different light um whatever it is it's going to be more of a long-term change so this is really really exciting and um ooh, with the knight of cups i'm so excited <laughs> i mean knight of cups energy and future outcome it definitely is of one of love being offered to you um you know it could very well be you offering the love knight of cups is more of a water sign energy so it could be a water sign um sending you love um i don't know if you guys have any cancers or pisces that are trying to lock you down right now but um gosh it's just it's so much water energy so yeah <laughs> i mean i see scorpio here cancer's here pisces is here and then knight of wands is definitely maybe like some sagittarius some fire energy yeah this is really exciting 